In this lesson, I'll show you how to graph a nonlinear inequality in two variables. The question reads, graph the inequality x squared plus y squared is greater or equal to nine. The process to doing this is outlined below, and the very first step involves changing this inequality symbol to an equal sign, because we wanna treat this as if it were an equation so that we can graph it on an xy plane. So let me make some room. Here is my xy plane where this is my y axis, this is my x axis. And as you can tell, this equation models that of a circle. A circle equation has x squared plus y squared is equal to a constant. In this case, the constant is nine. And if we square root this number, we actually get the radius for the circle. So the square root of nine happens to be three, and that's the radius that we'll be using. We'll have a point here, which is at zero and three, three and zero, negative three and zero, and of course, zero and negative three. Connecting these points with a curved line gives us, as mentioned, a circle. Now, because our inequality is non-strict, notice that we have a greater or equal symbol here. If it were simply greater than or less than, it would be called a strict equality. This is non-strict. I will fill in these dashed lines with a solid line. Now we do a bit of testing. We want to see which part to shade in, the outside part or the inside part. For that, we can choose a test value from inside of this circle. The test value is zero and zero, right at the center. So if I substitute zero and zero into here, if the inequality is true, then that's the region we shade. If it's false, then we shade everything other than the inside region. So substituting zero into there and into there gives us a false statement. Zero is greater or equal to nine, which it's not. So we cannot shade the inside. Instead, we shade everything outside. So the shaded part outside is where this inequality holds true. Any point out of here makes the statement correct. And there you have it. That is how to graph a nonlinear inequality in two variables.